I served my first prison sentence from 2008 to 2014, and I came right back for the same reasons, because I wasn't ready to change my life in 2015. Shortly after I got to prison, I got a letter from my daughter, and it says, Dear Kristen, my name is Kylie Hamilton. I don't even know if you know me, but I'm your daughter. And this just broke my heart because of course I knew her. And as I was reading, she was telling me about all of her battles and struggles and addictions in life. And my daughter was going down the same road as I did. And I knew I needed to change my life. I heard about Televerde. I knew the job paid well, but most importantly, it provided you with tools to be successful. And the other thing I heard was it took ladies three to four times to get the job, but I didn't care. It was my turn to change my life, so I applied. The application process is so, oh my gosh, it's so stressful. You go through this pre-screening with the prison, making sure you meet all the requirements, such as no disciplinary actions, and making sure you have your education on file. And once you're approved, I walked three quarters of a mile to a building similar to the size of a tuna can. But inside that tuna can seated 70 women ready to change their lives. I had interviews with three different managers and the first manager, he asked me questions like, well, how did you get here and how are you gonna get here? Weird questions, right? But he was doing things to make you feel comfortable. The other two managers asked you questions like, talk to me about your past work history. I didn't really have too many jobs, but I talked to him about how I became a manager at McDonald's at the age of 18. And then it was, what can you bring to Televerde? Well, I knew drive, teamwork, dedication. Now it was time to wait. So for three days, I chased one of the Televerde girls around on the yard to ask her if I got the job and she wasn't in her scope to tell me. So on the third day, there was a list posted at 5 p.m. of all the accepted applicants and my name was on it and I was so excited. For two weeks during boot camp like training, 11 hour days, I was so exhausted. I even cried because my brain could not fathom value propositions. But I graduated and I was ready to give back to Televerde what they were giving me and that was a chance. And shortly after getting on the floor, I became a sales development representative on Republic Services, but then one day my managers brought me into the office, this office, and told me that the client decided to take the account in-house and I thought it, I had done something wrong, but they assured me that I didn't. And they said that you're gonna be training as a business development representative on Pulse Secure and my mouth dropped and my eyes got so big. I was so scared. I couldn't believe it because I watched these girls on Pulse Secure and they were just so smart. They sounded so, I mean, just so well grounded and I was intimidated by them. I mean, I'd literally been talking waste and recycling for the last six months, like literally talking trash. I didn't think I could do it. I didn't know how many more responsibilities I would have as a business development representative. And I even went to one of my managers, Mr. Doyle, and I told him that please give somebody else a chance. And he says, Swanee, let's go smoke. So we're outside and I'm crying to him, telling him that I don't think I can do this. I don't even think I could ever learn how to do this. And he says, Swanee, as managers, we don't make choices to make you fail. That's not what this company is about. We make choices to help you succeed and grow. And we provide you with the tools to do it every day. You can do it or we wouldn't have chosen you. So every day after that, I worked harder and harder to be my best. And today I'm having conversations with C-level executives that drive real opportunities for my reps. But if it wasn't for my managers and that push and the feedback and the training from my team and my reps and Mr. Sadaker, the CEO of Pulse Secure, I wouldn't feel the confidence I feel today. I know I'm gonna succeed and I know I'm gonna do my best. And I know now I'm gonna see my kids again and nothing is ever gonna be in my way to be the mom I need to be. I get out of prison soon, but I have a challenge and my challenge is that box. A lot of you don't know what that box is, but all of us as felons, we do know what that box is. And every time you see that that box is checked, you throw the application away. So my challenge to you today is this. Look past the box. In fact, remove it completely. People make mistakes, but we learn and we grow from them. I mean, yeah, we could go to low wage, low skilled jobs. It's a job, right? But can I support myself and my family on a minimum wage job, especially when the cost of living continues to rise? 
Look behind the prison walls of what the true human potential truly lies within. We want to learn, but most importantly, we can learn. And when you give us the chance, you'll watch us grow with your company and get to levels you never really expected. Judge us for who we are today. You see me though, I'm an orange and I'm a felon, but I'm confident, dedicated, empowered and encouraging. Would you hire me? That's it.